Hi and welcome to this new video series on JetBot. So in this video series what we are going to do is talk about um, examples and things that you can do with JetBot. Things that are basic for learning about ROS, about robotics in general, but also research and very high level stuff like AI, navigation, people tracking, uh, human road interaction, everything. So. In this video, what we're going to do is start to learn how to launch a simulation that simulates crowds of people moving around. And we will use that for further videos to do uh, person recognition, uh, tracking, navigation through people and this kind of stuff. So if you want to um, in the further videos, that we talk about certain topics in particular, please leave it in the comments below. And without further ado, let's start. So you can see that um, I'm in ROS Development Studio. And here what we, what we are going to do is start the simulation. So I leave in the video description the ROSject with all the code that you can just launch it and you'll have the same thing that I have here. So the first thing is that we have to launch the simulation. So I have some terminals here open. And here we're going to launch this uh, JetDog examples pedestrians number one. Okay, so let's start. There we go. So now we have to open this Click here in open gazebo and we'll have to wait a few seconds and there we go. So we are using a pedestrian sim, which is um, a software. Uh, I leave the, um, the sources in the video description and here what we are seeing is people simulated. OK, so we have our Jetbot here so that it doesn't bump into any person because for the moment uh, people don't um, go around it so we have to be careful with that so the next thing is we're going to open the graphical interface and here automatically it opens our vis with all the uh, simulation data so let's have a look here There we go. So this is the simulation and this publishes inside Gazebo with a plugin so that we can see in a simulation all the people running around. And there we go. So now let me add the camera of the robot. So let me add an image. We don't need anything more. And Let's add JetDog cam image. There we go. Okay, so now we have to move the camera. So we can move the camera through this. Uh, let me. There we go. Okay, so we publish inside inside this topic, which is called camera tilt. Obvious. And there we go. So as you can see, uh, the definition of the camera is really, really bad. That's because we are trying to make the simulation uh, efficient. But in the real robot uh, that you can buy in, in our web page, uh, you can buy loads of models. But in this one, you'll have an HD camera or at least a camera that it's not this bad so let me show you if we move forward let's let's have a look in the simulation how we're going there we go we can also see the robot frame 
here if we select it so let me stop the robot a minute and let me select this one and for example put uh, I don't know the cameras skeleton one yeah there we go so there we are so here we can see the robot in Arvis in the simulation and people moving around and we can see everything that it's going on there we go so using this we will in the next videos we will do people recognition and there you go so and we will try to make it that the people know where we are so that they go around us and don't bump into into us and that's quite it so if you have any questions please leave in the comments below and if you if you want to use this you it's free to use you can use it when you want the project and if you want to apply all the things that we're going to talk about in this video in in a real robot you just have to go to the web page buy it the model that you want and you'll be able to use the same exact code that we're using here in the examples in the real robot and even you can connect through ROS Development Studio to the, the JetBot if you want to test it out, if you want to know if, if it works or not for you and then you can buy the real run, the, the real one and that's it, so it's been a short video, hope you liked it and see you in the next video, bye!